How's it going? Um, I got a couple of requests on just YouTube comments and on my website uh, asking what I've done with my Linux setup since Compiz is no longer um, being actively developed and it's not really supported that well anymore. Um, I have made the switch to Xmonad, which is a tiling window manager that's uh, coded in Haskell and actually the configuration is coded in Has Haskell as well. Um, I had tried it once before. Here's my setup right here. I had tried Xmonad before and my initial impression was was not very impressed. Um, but the reason for that was that I, I just didn't know much Haskell and didn't know how to configure it very well and honestly I still don't know a lot of Haskell or exactly how um, everything in this configuration file works but I copied the configuration file from some other people and I've been practicing Haskell and trying to learn a lot more and, and get better at it but just from having a good configuration file it made my whole experience a whole lot better and um, I've edited a little bit from what I originally copied um, so that it fits my needs better and I'll put a link in the description here to to this configuration file it's on my github account so that y'all can try it out if you want to um, as you can see it's it's pretty simple and I, I kinda like my screen like this just with everything in text um, it's how I'm most productive and if I need to open a browser or something then it'll automatically tile and of course you can do all the different kind of switchings and etc. You'll learn the keys as you go along. Um, but you can really make them as simple as you want. I mean, and honestly, the amount that it can handle and how quickly it boots up and loads is ideal for me. Um, this bar up here is Exmo bar. You can you can hide it if you want. I kind of like the way it looks with the uh, Tmux bar down here and the Xmo bar up here. You got your different um, workstations. That's the one through nine right here. And this right here is the icon for the different tiling layouts, which you can change. I've set it to only toggle through two because I only really use two. One of them is this, the standard tiling layout, and from there you can kind of shift a window around if you want to. Um, the other one is full screen, where it puts all of them in full screen, and then I can just cycle through them in that way. Um, there's other tiling layouts as well, but I don't really utilize them. If you want to make something a window, a particular window float, you can actually move it around and resize it. So I, I know I've had that problem with other tiling window managers. For instance, if I if I run a program like GIMP, then you don't really want all your windows tiled you want to be able to move it around and put the images in different places and that's one thing I really like about this setup is it I think it integrates really well use of the mouse and of keyboard because I can still make this float if I want to move it around in that sense if I want to but it's it's really easy to make it float um, you know if I if I need to have more precision about where I want it to be um, other than that, I think I've pretty much covered a lot of the command line utilities I use. I do all of my networking and everything just through YCD. I use the YCD uh, CLI, and I've just made a little, uh, there's a little alias, YCD CLI-Y uses your wireless card, so I can just like list the surrounding networks like this. None of these are mine, by the way, but... Um, and then you can connect, you just specify the number you want to connect to in a dash C and it'll connect to that network and if you want a graphical one uh, this program down here is called uh, D-Menu, I think you've probably heard of it but I can use like YCD, I can launch YCD GDK from D-Menu 
and get a graphical way and kind of go into the properties of it and set up that network like that. So it's pretty simple and mostly text-based and that's the way I like it. Um, it's not really quite as spectacular flashy-wise as Compiz was, but I still uh, I find it very productive and uh, it would be nice if there was some visual effects. You can actually uh, use some um, visual composite engines like I'm trying to think of the one that I've used it's like X something everything is X something this one X comp manager composite manager and then there's kinda of like a it, it'll put like fade effects and stuff you can make it a lot nicer looking than that Let's see I think I had one commented out here we go Let's use this. Um, so if I do that, then you can see as windows come in, they kind of fade in and fade out. Ooh, I don't know what those are about. Anyways, I'm not using that right now. You can you can add more composite stuff if you want it to look a little nicer, but I kind of like just this plain and simple text. Um, so that's an update. That's what I'm doing with my Arch Linux system. This is running. Uh, which kernel 3.9.71 and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I hope you find a good solution for your system and if you haven't tried xmonad out or you haven't tried it with a good configuration file just give it a shot because I think I think once you get the hang of it you'll like it a lot thank you for watching and I hope you'll have a great week